Hey boo, I do not know why I'm nervous, but today is not my day. Especially with women like you. Oh my god, like it's my birthday. It's my actual birthday today. Happy birthday to me, okay? A real G in this piece. So I'm like, yes, we're getting cute head to toe. Me and you, okay? So I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and jump on because, honey, we got a lot to do. We're starting with the hair all the way down to the toe. So, girl, listen. Hey, 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 hey too. Happy birthday. Thank you. So, starting with the hair, everything that I use in my hair can be found on my Amazon storefront. I'll leave the link below. This is the only thing that I am using new if you have not seen my hair tutorial full detail blown out a to b to z okay check that video out i show every single step i talk about every single thing that i use i'm about to hop in the shower i'm about to wash condition come back and style with you my skin of course i'm using my avo cosmetics clarifying cleanser to cleanse my skin and i think i'm going to use my true botanicals turmeric cleansing balm because I did um, shave my face so that the foundation and stuff could go on smoother. So I have a little bit of texture. You know, I'm always fighting with my skin and always, there's always something going on. I'm always in repair mode. I'm always doing something because it's a hair bump. It's a, it's a cystic hormonal acne. It's a dark spot. It's a fine line is something so i'm going to definitely do a little bit of exfoliation today and then i'm gonna come back and we're gonna mask and talk and chat oh cuz i went to sephora we planning a lot of new makeup it's gonna be fun girl so yeah let me go hop in this shower real quick so i can get my hair washed and i can come back ready to get ready okay so i'm back with a freshly washed head i have castor oil on my scalp my leave-in is in my birthday brunch was so good girl now i want to go lay down but the show must go on i have some of this drying oil on uh, a few of the problem areas and that's because after i am done with the hair i'm gonna put a face mask on and then when i wash the face mask off i can get like the gel off the sides of the edges and stuff like that so yeah because i've already shown you a full tutorial of how i do my hair i'm just going to speed through the process of getting the curls popped Okay, so the curls are popped. I'm gonna go ahead and let it air dry. I'm not gonna diffuse or anything today because we have a long way to go. We still got nails, toes, skincare, makeup, and we gotta get dressed. So it will be able to dry on its own just fine. We're going to move on to nails. So I do not go to the salon to get my nails done. I just use press-ons because my nails are weak, they're thin, they're brittle, and salon nails, even though press-ons aren't the healthiest things for your nails either, salon nails make my nails just really super so weak and brittle and fragile and I don't like it. So I use press-ons. They don't stay on as long. I'm able to like use things like this to treat my nails. So I'm going to pop these off and put these ones here on today. These are from the Beauty Supply. It's like this uh, iridescent, chrome, metallic, pearlescent, really pretty. 
and this is a polish that I just kind of tried to match with it. I try to always like match my um, polishes with my um, for my toes with my nails. So I picked this stuff up from the beauty supply and then I'm going to pop these off, buff my nails, and then I'm going to use this nail aid on my nails. I got this off of Amazon. I'm going to put this on first, and then I'm going to glue the nails down with this nail glue and strengthener. I got this from Amazon as well. I love this glue. Trust me, you can put this down first. It's this glue, it's it's airtight, okay? The nails be on for a while. Like I talked to you about this glue before. You do not have to worry about your nails popping off in public or anything like that if they fresh. Now, once they start getting old and you know all the nails break off, the salon nails and everything, the glue and everything starts breaking down from the water and the oil. But girl, guess what? For this to be just like Press on glue, your nails be on for a minute. Like my nails be growing up, like no lie. So I do my own nails because I've tried the acrylic, I've tried the gel, I've tried all types of salon manicures and all of them kind of leave my nails badly damaged. So I only go to the salon for my feet. But this year I did not go to the salon for my feet because I am actually starting a 21 day soft foot challenge tomorrow, the day after my birthday, because baby, listen, it will be exactly 21 days if I start tomorrow to the end of the month. So I'm going to use this stuff right here, this 100% herbal foot soap. It is said to leave your feet so soft, so callous free. And it's what I have really been needing because I have not been able to keep soft moisturized feet like as I have gotten older I'm seeing that my feet just gets so dry like I have tried and tried and tried to keep my feet soft I promised them in the shower and everything girl and they still be getting rough and hard and grabbing my covers at night and I'm like oh no so I didn't go get my feet done because I am going to be using this Okay, so before I rip my nails off, I am going to apply my skincare. That way it can be sitting on my skin while I'm doing my nails and my toes. Because right after that, we want to remove the hair wrap and start on the makeup. So I'm going to first go in with my detox eye patches from Pixie. Now I want to put these on first because I want them right next to my skin okay then i'm gonna go in with my avo cosmetics botanical toner i'm gonna let that dry down just a little bit before i put on my essence Okay, the essence is on now let's go in with this tea elixir fresh serum that i got as a free sample let's see what this tombow oh milky love the smell Okay, so while that's soaking in just a little bit before we go in with our face mask, we are doing a double face mask today. Let's go in with a little bit of neck cream or neck balm. I'm sorry. This one is by the same company that sent me the foot stuff. I like using this when like at night um, or if i am doing skincare where i can still kind of like wipe it off because it kind of smells a little bit masculine to me kind of like men deodorant a little bit but girl we don't care let all of our skincare just be sitting on our skin while we are doing other things now i'm gonna go in with the codalie hydrating mask these are both hydrating masks now let me tell you the story about this because girl it's so funny right so i did a whole chit chat get ready with me swatches 
first impressions, like everything. When I got all of the stuff from Sephora, and girl, why the footage got ruined? So I actually got this face mask because it was on sale. Like I was in the market for a hydrating face mask and I was like, oh, you know, uh, so Wasso is on sale. So I'll get that one, right? Because everything I've ever tried from this brand has been absolutely phenomenal. I love this brand. But this face mask is not what I was actually in the market for, but I do not regret buying it at all. Now, you know that I preach last step in skincare, lock everything in, and I use a facial oil, but you can also use this. This is an overnight mask. It's a thick cream. It smells medicinal. It's tingly. And it does wonders. Like, I'm telling you, I've been using this and it's really, really good. Oh, so I did have to get another one, the Coda Lee. This one is nice and creamy and more like, like, you know, a lotion. Well, they kind of both are like lotions. But this one is more along the lines of what I was looking for, like face mask type stuff. You know what I mean? This one is more like an oil, like a really thick moisturizing oil that you put on your face at night it's um clear you use it as the last step in your skincare routine it repairs overnight and look at the difference in size right like i thought like I thought that this was going to be this size. No, girl, it's huge. I was so happy with the um, face mask. I'm like, yeah, this isn't what I really, this isn't what I wanted really, but I like this. So I kept it. Again, we'll just mask the back of the hand with whatever's left on there. And then this one here, I'm going to put just on like the problem areas. Cause like I said, it's medicinable. Okay, so now we got our skincare on. Let's remove the polish off our toes and put our press-ons on so we can start the makeup girl. Okay, girl, so the nails is done. I'm going to take some cuticle oil and just hit the cuticles. Break up that dry glue. These are a little bit longer than I normally wear or want it, but they cute. I like them. Pretty, right? Especially for just like... <laughs> Putting them on in two seconds, you know what I mean? And I put the polish on my toes. Now I'm going to use a little bit of the foot cream. See how it looks. Ooh. Thick. Oh yeah, and this smell like, this smell like this going to help me. Okay, so now let's go ahead and take the eye patches off so that we can take the hair thing off and the mask and get our skincare on. And let that be soaking in. And girl, I did have to um diffuse my hair a little bit because with that new mousse, it was looking like it was not about to dry clear. But um, when I hit it with a little heat, it did. Like the mousse I normally use would have been dry and dry clear. But this was like taking forever. So I'm like, is this stuff going to be white and not dry clear? But it pretty much did. It dried pretty clear. Let's finish up our hairline. So let's get the skincare on real quick so that we can pour us a glass of wine and sip and talk for just a second while we waiting on that to seep in. Obviously, I have washed off my face mask. I'm going to put some more Avo Cosmetics. This is the Botanical Toner. 
this is going to restore my skin's pH, balance it, hydrate. Next, I'm going to go in with my True Botanicals Chibula Serum. If you know, you know, I love this. So healing and nurturing. Then I'm gonna hit it with the True Botanicals Chibula Moisturizer. And this is so rich. I'm just going to use just a little bit. Keeping the application of the skincare light. While we're waiting on that to seep in, girl, let's have us a birthday glass of wine, okay? So I got my wine glass here, and this is what we are sipping on, some Moscato. I like this brand a lot. Oliver, their red wine, I'm so in love with it. And I got this little wine stopper here from Amazon. Isn't it adorable? This is on my Amazon storefront under the home category, girl, just in case you want to check it out. So let's get a little bit of Moscato. Cheers. Happy birthday to me. Nice. Okay, let's get our primers out. I have everything in my cosmetic makeup bag all ready to go we are working out of this today this has all the new stuff i'm gonna take the mirror off and i'm gonna get the brush holder out the way by the way i am offering free shipping on this for my birthday so girl if you've been eyeing my led cosmetic bag head over to my website right now and take advantage of the free shipping i promise you you are going to love this bag it's fully customizable the capacity of this is absolutely huge you could put your makeup in here your skincare your nail stuff whatever you like so celebrate with me for my birthday grab a bag it will mean so much to me girl i really would appreciate it so let's go ahead and get our primers out of here and prime our our face and girl you got to stay to the end right because you not only want to see the outfit but you definitely want to see my birthday lips they are bangers okay so the first primer I'm going to go in with is my Bobbi Brown face base put this all around the mouth area I just kind of move it elsewhere to kind of blend it out but it's for around the mouth area like that's the area I want primed Next, I'm going to take the City Beauty Lid Lifting Treatment and I'm going to prime my eyelids a little bit. This is just extra skincare. We're not, we're going to double prime the eyes. And then we're going to take the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer and we're going to prime the nose. While we letting all of that sit on there and soak in for a bit, let's oil our hands with some of our L'Octane I don't want to be sitting up here with ashy hands, okay? And then let's go in with some lips. This was a free sample. And then let's hit our face with a little bit of Fix Plus. In order to have a good grip on my brows, I'm going to strip the brow hair area with a little bit of alcohol. And it's okay as far as with the skincare because it has been sitting on there. It did get a chance to absorb. And plus, we are using the new MAC foundation that is a serum boo. So makeup got skincare in it, babe. So all of these myths out here that makeup ruin your skin, what makeup boo? What makeup are you using that's ruining your skin, sweetheart? Because modern makeup, it's good for your skin. Moderate makeup has SPF. Moderate makeup is made with serums and hyaluronic acid and beautiful ingredients that sit right on top of the skin and nourish the skin and protect the skin. So yeah, if makeup from a long time ago ruined people's skin, that was then boo. Because makeup now, makeup these days, will have your skin looking good. Okay, so we're going to go in with this one. I saw this when they posted it. I was like, yeah, I have to have it. So we're using this one today because it is that light, breathable, serum, makeup, looks like skin, juicy, but it's MAC, which means it's full coverage. It is going to cover well. It's going to photograph well. So this is in shade NC50. The girl in the MAC store matched me. 
um this looks really really good on me it is a little bit red though so we're going to put a little bit of the nars light reflecting foundation on top this is in shade macau and i might mix a tad bit of this chanel skin enhancer in with it a little bit because honestly this is a skin enhancer i've been using this and playing with it and it's absolutely so pretty i love it I have to find more and more ways to use it because it actually it, it absolutely is a skin enhancer. Matter of fact, let's put this on first. I'm gonna do one pump. Let's put some all around the mouth. And it's orange too, so it's kind of like a little color corrector. It's so pretty. really is a skin enhancer this is a beautiful product if you are just doing a skincare day and you know you don't really want anything on your face but you do still want your skin to look smooth and juicy and hydrated go in with some of this because again this is skincare as well it's a little bit of makeup and a lot of bit of skincare this has like a little luminous to it a little shimmer a little a luminosity so it gives your skin a little something something and i know that this is gonna last me a long time because you only need a little bit so that's the exciting part and i washed all my brushes girl because you know for the birthday glam we have to have fresh brushes because a fresh brush is going to give you the best beat. Like a dirty makeup brush going to work. But baby, it's nothing like a clean beauty blender, a new beauty blender, a freshly clean brushes that really, really lays the makeup. Okay, so let's go in with our first foundation. Look at how... Look at the consistency. It's just beautiful. Look at this. Mac really did they big one with this. And I want to put a little bit more on because this don't crease too. Like I've been playing in it and yeah, it, it don't crease. So let's saturate that around the mouth. And then let's go in with a little bit of the NARS Sheer Glow. Just to cool down this redness. I'm going to take my time and just stamp away and blend away. Look at how beautiful. It's like so much like skin. Okay, so now let's go in with our Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. And we're just going to put this everywhere we want highlight. And then we're going to go in with the Tarte and tap a little bit of this on the nose. Just like at the bottom kind of. And then we're going to take our Bobbi Brown Concealer and we're going to use this for underneath the eyes. Now, boo, let me tell you, you know me, you know that I am always buying a bunch of concealers. You know that I typically like would use an under eye concealer to highlight and then use a lighter one to brighten. I don't know what it is about this Bobbi Brown concealer in Golden, but I don't have to do that. It's like the perfect color, okay, whereas once i blend it down i don't feel the need to like brighten like it does everything for me i'm gonna put a bunch and i'm gonna just be letting it sit up underneath my eye so while that is sitting and getting a little tacky i'm gonna be blending out the other concealers and i'm gonna use my beauty blender because i haven't used it yet and this is, you know, the Beauty Blender helps to pick up product and not make it, like, make it look a little bit more natural and like skin. We are going to use another sponge for underneath the eye. This is the e.l.f. 
and i'm not sure if it's cold or still a little bit damp but i'm going to consider this a dry sponge because i did not wet it and this sp sponge is so firm okay that honey it's not going it's not it doesn't really pick up a lot of product it's just going to kind of like press it in and blend it down for you and i just like to tap this right on the edges just to start blurring it out and then i take my expert face blending brush and finish like blending it in and down so i'm gonna tap this nose contour out real quick and girl guess what i tried on my dress snatched okay with no underclothes you know it's amazon fashion snatched okay wait till you see me when i have the underclothes on though like the good 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 girl okay you know underclothes make a huge difference in regards to how your clothes look on you and how they fit on you and we all kind of just like wear clothes just to kind of like wear them you know what i mean like oh i got some on i'm cool but guess what like as much as you can try to shop for things that actually flatter your figure you know what i mean like if an outfit makes you look frumpy or it like your shape just doesn't look the best in it like switch that thing out girl and put something else on that is a little bit more figure flattering and make you feel a little bit better about yourself you don't have to like wear clothes that just is doing nothing for you you know what i mean like we all do it and when we do we don't feel our best we like we looking in the mirror like mm, i look kind of odd shaped in this like listen take that joint off and go put something else on that makes you feel better and because we want that skin like finish we're gonna go in again with some more mac fix plus Okay, take our beauty blender and then just make sure that that's all pressed in before we set with our powder. Now let's go in with our Chanel powder boo. When I tell you that this powder, this powder right here, it is so magical. Like this is the best thing for like underneath the eye. I promise you. Okay, so now let's go ahead and put a little bit of our eyeshadow primer on. This is the MAC Paint Pot in um, Laying Low. And now I'm going to start on the brows, just small hair strokes. And we're going up, up, up. And we're going to the arch and then we're just stopping. Let's go ahead and move on and put our bake on. We're going to use the Laura Mercier Pat McGrath mixture. This is Laura Mercier translucent powder in shade honey. And I'm just going to like pack this underneath the eye. It's helping us snatch our nose. Like this is such an important part. And the bake doesn't have to be extremely neat. I personally preach to lay everything down neat. But the bake, however, it doesn't have to be extremely neat. And I've been talking about an angled brush for your nose contour forever now. Girl, why ain't no more available? I done searched the Morphe site. I done searched the MAC site. No more boo. Now for the fun part, let's start going into some eyeshadows. Okay, now let's go in with our shadow boo. You know I had to get ah, Pat McGrath for my birthday. Like, oh my goodness. So we're going to use a bunch of stuff. I'm sure I'm going to dip into this because I just can't leave it alone. This is going to be the topper. This is going to be the main lid color. I'm going to put a little bit of this underneath the eye. I'm going to put a little bit of this on the outer V and a little bit of this in the inner corner. So, boo, let's get to work because, uh, her tea isn't, look, like, oh, look at this. Watch this.
Look at that pale. Now let's take a little bit of this. Let's take a little bit of this red and put a little bit like just going upward. A little bit like that. Let's take a little bit of this brown underneath the lash line, starting in the center, sweep, sweep, sweep outward. Nothing heavy or major. Don't go towards the inner corner. We're going to take a little bit of that brown and start working our shadow. Like start working on this outer V right here. We're keeping this lower than the red. And then let's take our lid topping color, this beautiful pink right here. And let's just put that right, tap that right in the center. Now I'm going to go in with my Galactic. I really wish I had this in other colors, but I don't. So let's put a little of this. This is like a self-adhering glitter. This is the Chanel Ley Line. And what's so special about this is that it is truly a precision liner. If you ever struggle with getting a super thin line, sometimes, bae, it ain't you okay you need the tools you need the right stuff and when i tell you this is the right stuff this is the right stuff i want this in brown too because it's so intense and for like softer looks like this i would choose brown but girl yeah Please, 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 listen. When I tell you that sometimes you pan for a name and it's kind of just hype, but a lot of the times it's not, okay? A lot of the times when you drop that coin, baby, the return on what you get, your ROI, your return on investment. Ooh, hey, I'm talking about girl. Listen, don't play with me. Okay, nobody. Please tell me who's gonna do it like Pat McGrath. I want to know. And I decided, like, you know what? I gotta take you with me because that's rude. Like, how you gonna sit here with me, watch me do makeup, let me talk all about it, tell you it's my birthday, show you the breakfast, brunch, have a drink with you, and then I put my clothes on and be like, bye. And then just leave you. I can't do that, boo. You got to come with me. So definitely, if you are still here, stay to the end. Because we about to go turn up. Just a little bit. If I put any more glow on, I'm going to look like I'm floating. Let's go in with some more glow. For the inner corner, this is the Galactic Shadow Stick. And this is how easy it is to get your inner corner highlight. Just tap it. Chop the shadow stick. Look at this. This in shade tinsel. Okay, so now let's put on our lip. This is the YSL Candy Glaze. This is in number four. And with this, it's a dream. You don't have to press hard. It's like it's like a gloss and a lipstick. Only thing I don't like is listen. Like why does it sound so mechanical? I don't want to take my YSL lippy out my purse and it sounds like I have a car jack. So not sure why that they made that choice, but you got to be careful with this. It's so soft. Oh my God. And you only need the slightest bit. And then let's put some of the Fenty Fussy on just to gloss it up some. And lastly, we're going to top it with the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And this is in Amber Lights. And girl, with this lip combo, you will never, ever, ever get the gloppy lip with this. Like... This stuff is weighted. It's so sophisticated, heavy, luxurious. They got it right, okay? And you just, like, it's just going to be giving, like, all night. You're not going to get the white stuff. 
It's not gonna get all in your teeth. It's not gonna be stringy and you look like a scary movie. It's not about to run and glop and be dripping down your lip. Like this stuff is just the example of what you get when you spend that coin. Like what's the difference? You know what I mean? Like, okay, the NYX is pretty. What's the difference? Why would I spend $40 on a gloss? Because of the way it's going to perform throughout the, the day. luxurious feel of the products, how heavy they are, the packaging, all the ingredients. Like I can go on and on and on and on, but yeah, you get the drip. Okay, so this is the finished makeup look. We finna have to throw on our clothes. My baby ready, I'm ready. We finna just throw on the clothes and jewelry and get up out of here. Let me see if these lashes bump my glasses. No, they do not. So definitely head over to my site, optimalbeauty.net and pick you out a pair of lashes, girl. Huge sale on the lashes. You don't want to miss out on that. So let me go ahead and throw on my clothes and my lotion and my fragrance and stuff like that. And I'll be right back. Come on, birthday. Come on, 43. Hey, 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 hey. This is the YSL Libre. Happy birthday to me. This is the intense version too. What made me buy this? <clears throat> I tried it on at Sephora. When I walked past the sales associates, they like grabbed me like, oh my God, what do you have on? And it was this. My daughter love it. I love it. Everybody love it. Let's get a little bit more wine and then go, girl, because we got to go. And I'm getting hungry again. That breakfast brunch done roar off. It's time to go eat, boo. All right. I'll see you at the place. Black girl, you black girl. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sound like.